consolidated. If the voters of the community vote to do away with their own township and consolidate, I have less of a problem with that. I don't my think that will happen. Here's my criteria if it costs the taxpayers less money. But what I've learned in government uh, is they don't cost anything less, they just shift things around. Absolutely. So to me, and I've really learned this with the economic, if it doesn't cost less consolidation, what's the real incentive then? Because some of these changes don't change the amount of people we're paying. It doesn't. And that's just exactly what would happen. And They're, that's my complaint. I can't. You're going to move Max and take him into Fort Wayne, but I still have to pay the same amount. If you move Dick and Gene Yurick into the city of Fort Wayne, you're going to hire four more people to play, replace them. You're going to have more money. And it's going to be a bureaucracy. You're not going to know who's there. You're going to, they're going to be a number. You're not going to know them by their first name. You're not going to know if they're scamming. And it them. hasn't saved the taxpayer a dime. Right. So, it's you know, I, I don't know how my competitors view this issue, but I, it, I will never support just randomly getting away from their township office. If, if they want to have a referendum and see if people want to get rid of them. I don't want to run out of time and we're going to have a few more. Uh, think about this as I'm asking you if there's any state issues. There's that, a lot of state issues. That you want to bring to the table. I'm going over the current ones. Okay. Um, budget. Budget. We're going into a budget battle that's probably been, it will be the most intense since the Civil War. Okay. Um, You're the, saying what, we're running out of money? We're, running, we're out of money. The, the surplus is gone. Were you okay with uh, Mitch Daniels um, leasing the toll road? Mm -hmm. That became a concept. At the time, I wasn't real thrilled with it. As I've seen how it's worked, as I've seen the money it's brought us and the timing it, it, it saved us. It was brilliant. So maybe it wasn't the best option, but for the time... No, I, I wouldn't even say that. I think, I, I think Mitch is smarter than me. Okay. <laughs> you know, to be honest, I was, I was skeptical. I don't think any politician is smarter than me. I've seen what they do. They're crazy. It, yeah. It, Not Mitch in particular. I was skeptical. And Many of my even wow, conservatives are very upset with yeah, him over 75 that. 75 years is a long time. What, what do we at least ask that job that long for? But you know what? Um, they're, putting, they're doing the maintenance on the toll road now. They're building new toll roads. They may increase the toll a little bit. Um, nobody's going nobody's to run down US 20 because of a 50 cent increase. But when it comes down to it, in the worst recession, probably at least since the 80s, Indiana's actually doing all right. We're doing minute. we're doing better. We're done with our right now, unfortunately. Um, it's lasted too long. We're running out of surplus, and we're going to look at another. Two things are going to happen. Uh, the 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 Democrats are looking for ways to increase money. The Republicans are looking for ways to reduce the services. So depending on what happens say, in November, uh, are you okay with shutting agencies down? State. I, I have to look at see what the plan is. Show me a business plan. Show me how we're going to deliver services and so what services we can do without. You know? That's why I'm saying, are you, are you, we may have are you, what I've seen government do is they don't want to shut anything down because they right. don't want to mess. They're always you looking know, for votes, so they don't want to make anybody mad. In the 20s, so I believe it was. They look for more ways to get revenue, and the taxpayers are broke. Bro right. Grover, they need a Grover break. Cleaver. The taxpayers need a break. I think it was Grover Cleveland. There's no jobs out there. In 1920 avoided probably another Great Depression that, that hit us eight, ten years later, but avoided a, a serious economic crisis. He pared down the government uh, to a point where he looked at it and said, okay, all we're doing is what's necessary, absolutely necessary to keep the wheels rolling until the private sector can kick in and, and, and keep the move kind of doing. And some people That's what we're going to have to do. But if we don't do something, it's going to be a whole lot more pain. Because those people are going to be hurt because the taxpayer that are supporting the people on the services, they're not going to have no money, so everybody loses. The economy, I, I promise you this, if I, go, if I go to the state house, I will not create one job. Do you, why? Because the government can't create jobs. The government jobs. doesn't create jobs. Thank you for that. The government doesn't. You do. And the people out here. I do. An entrepreneur. It goes out, creates new products, Absolutely. and then hires some workers. So the more tax money we suck out from At the public job sector, I can't make. the fewer, the, the, the lower the money being poured into the economic motor as fuel. And, and that's, you know, we cannot raise corporate income tax. We cannot raise personal income tax. We cannot raise sales tax. Those How are things you on the cap on, not to switch topics, but property tax cap? Property tax cap, I'd support an amendment, Harvey. An amendment. But then they become an assessor's, how they assess your building, so you're just giving another agency leeway? Yeah, but I'm an assessor. <laughs> <laughs> no.
Well, you know, and that is the game. Uh -huh. I, I am an assessor. I'm a class, I'm a level two assessor because I do tax appeals. And we're supposed to trust that all assessors well, are honest? I'm the guy on the other side of the table from the county assessor that's, that's arguing for the taxpayer doing a tax appeal. And I can tell you, I've seen taxes, I've seen houses assessed seems randomly sometimes a 20% increase. For no apparent reason, uh, I had a, a taxpayer who lived in an $80,000 neighborhood, had an $80,000 assessment, suddenly, poof, it's $126,000. $46,000 increase because they said they had one comparable that sold for that high. The comparable was three miles away. And there was 10 houses that sold within his block that were an $80,000. Here's my problem. I don't want to touch the trust government to cap my property in tax no. or assess it. Well, they, they have to assess it. Uh, you know, they don't have to actually, it's a whole other issue on property tax, but, but I won't make you get that controversial. The, 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 <laughs> things, the things, we got a system, I don't know that we're, we have the ability politically. There's, the thing with politics, you have to have the, the it's, it's the art of the possible, too. Yeah. Because right now, you know, I've, I've worked in the school system. Uh, I see what a common wage issue can do. I've seen what unions can do, good and bad. But nobody's going to get rid of the school union. It's not going to happen. It's not possible. Anything's possible, but it You've got, won't even, even if you have Republican control of those houses, there's not enough political will to do it. No, because some services we have them led to believe that we shouldn't have them by constitutionally, but right. they seem nice. Right. And, I, and you know, uh, Social Security should have never happened. We're never going to get rid of it until it collapses in on itself. Well, itself. they've taken all the money out of there, so yeah, that makes no collapse. <laughs> I mean, it probably will if we don't do something like that. But, you know, those are the things that you, you have to look at the art of the possible, too. Well, we're going to run out of time. we only got about five minutes left. Back to the budget. So but we're going into the budget battle, and one of the reasons I think I'm more than qualified is when we look at uh, four-way community schools. Uh, I've been through the budget battles. I was the only four-way community school board member that stood up and said no to a half a billion dollars worth of bonds. They wanted a half a billion dollars from the spending. So right I was now, you're, I was you're the okay sole no. I say no all the time. And, you know, I also said no, and I went to the, I was the first person to sign the blue, blue petition. I signed line one, page one of the blue petition, and we got it stopped. And, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm not against all spending. I, I think you take care of your buildings. You take care of your assets. We, 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 we redid Northside High School. Um, I, I did everything I could to keep that as low cost as possible. Uh, we did not use eminent domain once on any, any land we picked up. We bought an open market when people wanted to sell it. I am fiercely and against And it sounds it. like, I don't want to get, we're, we're going to still run out of time, but it sounds like, too, the big issue is, are our state governments going to stand up, start standing up to the federal government? One, in certain issues. I, in one, one word. Your position. You know, I've heard about that, and I'm going to have to read a more... Uh, about it because a lot of groups the have been states, telling me the, when the federal government oversteps its legal authority it has none and there are some issues where the states need to say no 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 sorry one of them coming up is obamacare correct the 25 i think million more and if anybody thinks i have an agenda i don't have insurance so i would be one of those wonderful people that get it but i don't want it so no, i no, i have a small people. company with three employees um, my insurance costs a fortune. I'd rather pay a fortune. It doesn't matter. As an American, nobody has the right to tell you you Absolutely. have to buy some. Absolutely. And if people want to argue car insurance, you don't have to buy a car. You just said it. The, you're absolutely right. Obamacare says I have to. Makes, I have to. makes buying medical insurance condition of citizenship. And I don't want that. That's not the America it's I know about. constitutional. But the one thing we've learned, and I've learned in the last two years, is my public school, unfortunately, you coming from the point. I always thought we are a democracy, and I've been trying to educate people. We are not. We're not a democracy. We're supposed to be a republic. Representative republic.